Now let's see perfect competition. Perfect competition is a market. It's a competition wherein there are many people, many buyers and many sellers. Large number of buyers and sellers in the market. And the buyers and sellers have perfect knowledge about the market. There are no entry and exit barriers in the market. The product is homogeneous. All the sellers are selling the same product. So the product is identical. There are no extra costs like finance costs, transportation costs, government taxes, etc. But the main feature of this type of competition is large number of buyers and sellers. So you have innumerable buyers and innumerable sellers. Now, when we studied perfect competition the last time, we said that perfect competition is academic. It exists only in theory and practice it does not exist. So it will be difficult to bring out examples of perfect competition for you. Yet we have tried to bring out some examples which are almost like perfect competition in a country like India. So the best example is the market for groceries or the market for food grains. Now this is a market where you have very high number of buyers and sellers in the market. So this is almost like the perfect competition. Next is monopoly. It's the stark opposite of perfect competition. In perfect competition, you have many sellers in the market. But in monopoly, as the word says mono, which means one and poly means the seller. So there's only one seller in the market. However, there may, there may be innumerable number of buyers. Buyers may be many, but the seller is only one. Railways is one best example of monopolies in India. Again, you have defense. Private entrepreneurs are not allowed to get into the business of national defense. So again, defense is one more example of monopoly in India. So these are the examples where there's only one seller or there's only one manufacturer. It's the government. You won't get many examples of this nature in India because in India, creation of monopolies is illegal. You cannot create monopolies. If you are into the business wherein you have monopoly, the government will get your business shut down or it will buy the business from you and then itself run the business because you're not allowed to create monopolies. Next is monopolistic competition. Now this is almost similar to perfect competition and thus we've placed this near perfect competition. Again, in this case, there are innumerable number of buyers and sellers. The only difference is the product. In perfect competition, the product is homogeneous. All the goods are same, which are being sold in the market. In monopolistic competition, the products are not homogeneous or identical. They are almost similar. They are of similar nature. They may vary from each other minutely. For example, we have toothpaste manufacturers. The market for toothpaste is monopolistically competitive. Now, toothpaste generally are similar, but all the toothpaste are different from each other in some or other manner. There is some difference between toothpaste of two brands. But the product ultimately remains almost similar. 
so this is an example of monopolistic market so in monopolistic competition or monopolistic market you have all the features of perfect competition except for one which is homogeneous products in monopolistic market the product is not homogeneous or identical they are different from each other the products vary from each other and the final is oligopoly now olig means few and poly again means sellers so in an oligopolistic market you have few sellers however there's no restriction on the number of buyers you may have any number of buyers so this is again a case wherein you are decreasing the number of sellers that is in perfect competition there were many sellers same is the case in monopolistic competition now in oligopoly the number of sellers has decreased generally it ranges between 2 to 10 or 12 sellers and finally in monopoly there is only one seller so just to give you an example in oligopolistic market you have uh let's say cell phone manufacturers or maybe uh telecom service providers there are not many service providers in the market as far as telecom is concerned you can count them on your fingers again same is the case with phone manufacturers same is the case with tire manufacturers same is the case with airplane manufacturers so there are only a few sellers in the market yet there are many takers for their products so there are many buyers in the market so this is a general overview about the various competitions and some examples about them